Hello guys, welcome to Sigma Tech Tricks. On today's video, I am going to show you how to rectify no bootable device found error. Let's fix this issue. And in this video, I am also going to explain you what are the reasons which causes this problem to occur. So stay tuned. Let's begin. So let's power on the laptop. It's a Dell laptop. The model number e the model number is E7250. Now you can see this is the error message. No bootable device found. Remember this is the card level repair which you can do yourself. So as you can see this message is already there. Now before before we fix it, you must know what are the reasons which causes this problem to occur. The first thing is hard disk loose connection if there is a hard disk inside the laptop then this could cause no bootable device found another reason is there could be low CMOS battery and you are facing date and time error that can also be the cause of this problem the third the third issue could be due to internal motherboard related issue that cannot be solved at the card level you have to give it to the repair shop only so this is the problem probably related to card level let's solve this issue so first we'll open the laptop so we'll switch up the laptop and then we will open it and make sure you disconnect the power cable if it is connected then press the not button in this case we have a notch remove the battery and then there are two screws here which we already opened it let's pull it ok now you can see in this laptop there is no hard disk it is a M SATA the smaller SSD okay and then this we need to check it out whether there is some any loose connection we can tight it and then we have to check it out this CMOS battery if this CMOS battery has a low voltage then this problem could also occur we need to check the voltage of this battery it is a wired 2 pin CMOS battery which will be connected to the motherboard if this is low this problem also occur so we will check it out the voltage of this CMOS battery we will remove it so here I have a multimeter by using that we can check it out voltage here you can see it is almost 3 volt so that means the CMOS is fine in my case I have a multimeter so I am checking it in your case it might not be there in that case you just see it if your date and time problem is there suppose if you are saving your date or time today and it is not getting saved that means your CMOS battery is faulty you replace it and then the last option is changing the BIOS settings so let's put, put it back and check the BIOS Now let's power on the laptop. After powering on, we'll check if the problem is solved.
Okay, so laptop has been powered on. It says time and date not set. Please run setup program. Or to continue, you can press F1. We'll press F1. We'll see whether it is going to the Windows or not. Now still it has the same problem. As you can see, it has the same problem. Okay, so we will go to the BIOS where we can do changes in the setup. Okay, so we will press F2 to go to the BIOS. Now it is going to the BIOS setup. So this is the BIOS setup in Dell. First thing we need to do is change the date time. Press the arrow key up down arrow key. Okay, in the date time section you have to change the date. Just click enter and then tab. And after that you have to enter the month. Month is 4th. And then date. Then right arrow. Change the date. The date today is 27. We will put 27. Right arrow. Here is 23. 2023 after that again come back to the menu hit enter or just drag your cursor and click system configuration select any of the options and after that go to the boot sequence up arrow you will find this interface here we have two options as I told you in earlier video that fourth generation laptops after fourth fifth sixth they have two options that is two boot option that is UEFI and legacy most of the hard disk will be installed in UEFI mode but some people install in legacy so this laptop has a UEFI option here and there is no boot manager we can see Okay, so we will change the option to legacy and let's see what happens. So I'm just ticking the legacy option. Now you can see here we got the options. The boot sequence has come and the first boot sequence is diskette drive. That means the hard disk. Okay, SSD. That means the SSD which is there inside MSATA. Okay. So I think this will solve our problem. We have to apply. Just click apply. And then another thing you can check it out on the menu is secure boot. The secure boot option should be disabled. Just click. Click the plus mark. Just check it out. Secure boot, boot is enabled or disabled. It says disable. So that's all our job is done. The main part regarding the SSD or hard disk to boot up to the windows is set up. Now we'll just press exit and see what happens. Now the system is restarting. Okay guys, as you can see the windows is loading, the windows uh, was already there and the problem has been solved. Okay, so it has come to the windows, we have sorted out, we have fixed this problem. 
so guys as you can see it has booted up to the windows now if you like the video and if you found it informative please subscribe my channel i keep posting such videos please like the video and share it thanks for watching